Hi everyone, it's Sierra. Thank you all very much for joining me here today. Today I will be pulling some cards. I have my medium ship oracle cards. I also have my angel tarot cards. And I just wanted to sit down right now and pull some messages for you guys. Whatever message you need to hear right now that is for your highest good and that is of divine truth. I will give these a good shuffle. And let's see what wants to come through for you all today. It is also raining. So if you hear that, it is pouring. And it is very gray outside. Let's see what message is Spirit would like to give you all right now watching. Okay, it fell in the middle of my tripod. Okay, my mind is free. Okay, now with this card jumping out very eagerly and very just elegantly, I guess you could say, because it fell in the middle of my tripod and it didn't knock anything over and just the way it flew out. This card is a burden taken off your shoulders is what's coming through here. The light at the end of the tunnel is the message with this card here coming out for you all. And there's something you don't see right now, something you don't see coming is a message that's also coming through with that card. Let me see if anything else from this deck right now. And also, this is sort of like an initiation, like a portal is also what I'm getting with that card here. Let's see what else, okay. And we have, I watch over you every day and tears cleanse the soul. Now, these are both very beautiful cards and I love that they come out here for you guys because we have two hearts here. This is a message of love from your spirit guides. Also the angelic realm. I'm feeling very strongly here. Some of you as well have been working on specifically healing your heart with Archangel Raphael. And if you've been seeing 444, that's reassurance from Archangel Raphael that yes, you are in a process of healing. Now it says, I watch over you every day. Tears cleanse the soul. There's also with that a message of encouragement that this will be over before you know it and that you are being guided, you are being supported, especially if you're seeing synchronicities. That's a good sign from your spirit guides, from your angels, from God, that they're with you and that you're not alone in this is really the message they want to get through to you. And they want you to know that joy is being restored as well. Some of you, unfortunately, had someone pass over to the other side and you're missing them. As soon as I said that, lightning came. Okay, that was beautiful confirmation from Spirit. I hope the camera, I hope the camera picked up on that. But they want you to know that joy is being restored. And that there is inner healing that is happening right now for you all watching. For some of you, it is specifically more focused on the heart chakra. Again, the message from Archangel Raphael comes into mind. I will put this deck to the side. And also for those of you that this is a past on loved one, I have no more earthly worries. And I love the picture of the sunset and the sunflowers here. And then you also have dandelions there. Both yellow flowers could be a sign or synchronicity for you all. 
Also seeing different shapes of clouds or even seeing like patterns in the water could be a sign again from your past on loved ones, from your ancestors, from your spirit guides, from your angels. Now let's pull some tarot and see a bit more. And again, with tears cleanse the soul, it's okay to cry. I know a lot of people, also, you know, different cultures, they see it as a weakness or that you're being bothersome or whatever the case may be. But your spirit guides specifically want you to know that crying is good. And for what you're going through right now, it's very understandable for you to be crying. Also, and not to hold your emotions back. Because sometimes when we do that, it manifests as physical Ill illness. And your spirit guides want you to know that right now. And as I'm saying that, I'm getting a weird whiff of cigarette smoke. I'm getting a whiff of cigarette, cigarette smoke and I have like a weird kind of taste in my mouth. So that may be specific. Well, that is specific for some of you all. That was very random. Let's see what else we have here. We have the ego card, also known as the devil card with Archangel Jophiel, a false sense of entrapment, entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. Okay. We also have the two of pentacles reversed here. And the page of swords, page of air. Logical, honest, impulsive, curious, challenging information, delays or changes to plans, truth delivered without tact. Also, the message I'm getting straight away with this page of swords is that some of you feel lonely there's a feeling of being on your own like you have no one except for your spirit guides here with you right now but it feels like on the physical plane in the physical realm no one has your back that's how this feels it feels like wow i can only trust dead people but i can't trust any people in my life, people that are actually alive, because everyone I did trust, they passed away. That's the message that I'm getting here right now. And your spirit guides want you to know that what your your feelings are okay. They keep emphasizing this to me. Like, let them know that what they're feeling is valid. It's okay. They're not overthinking. They're not being over dramatic. Because especially when you lose someone or you're just going through a lot of challenges and difficulties in your lives it's not easy and it's okay to be upset it's okay to know that hey this isn't right and I don't want this for myself they really want you to know that they want you to have that in your mind and I feel like right now you guys don't know where to go you don't know what to do you don't know where to go you don't really know how to handle what's happening right now but Spirit is saying that they are here with you. Every second of every day, they're here with you and they have your back. And they want you to feel what you're feeling so that you can heal it. Because if you just suppress your feelings, if you suppress what's going on, it's not going to be pretty in the long run is what they want you to know. Because like I said earlier, it does manifest sometimes as physical illness. And I've, in my personal life, I've witnessed that happen to people I know who do not want to forgive, who are constantly talking about things that happened years ago, and they're not in the present moment. They're living in the past. And your spirit guides especially are emphasizing they do not want you to live in the past. They want you to live in the present. Yes, focus on the future, but don't overly focus on the future in the sense that you're constantly worrying about what's going to happen. What are you going to do about X, Y, and Z? They want you to focus on the present moment and to focus on yourself and healing. Now, again, with the ego card, 
right now they're trying to pull you out of that mentality because right now you are not being your best friend is the message they're giving to me right now you're not being your best friend you're being your own worst enemy and your angels and your spirit guides in particular we have archangel Raphael and at the beginning of the reading i did pick up on archangel Raphael's energy very strongly and another message that they're letting me know right now is that when you hear ringing in your right ear that is them that is a message that's coming through right now but they're trying to take you out of the mental fog because they're trying to guide you you've asked for help you've prayed for help you've prayed for some sort of freedom is the word that's coming through here some sort of freedom some sort of guidance like i don't know what to do please help me figure out what i am supposed to do because especially with the two of pentacles being reversed here and the page of swords and ego also known as the devil card in traditional tarot i see right now you really don't know where to go but I do see that your angels and spirit guides are trying to push you in the right direction. However, they're having a bit of a difficult time and you are having a bit of a difficult time interpreting their messages because, or even noticing the signs at all that they've been trying to show you because of the mental fog that you're in. Also living in the past is not going to make it easy to communicate with them. You need to be in the present moment. Because in the present moment, it's easier for them and it's easier for you. Because when it comes to communicating with our angels, our past on loved ones, God, our ancestors, spirit guides, etc. We meet them halfway. They come this way, we come this way, and we're together, right? And that way messages come through, synchronicities, etc. But I know right now there's a bit of a difficult time right now just because of everything that's been happening in your lives. I'm going to pull some more tarot. You are... Okay, let me pick that up. But the message that I'm getting is you are surrounded by spirit guides. Oh my gosh, this is so freaky. Look, I have the other deck right here. I should have left it a bit more in the camera frame, but this card was randomly just sitting by my tripod. We are soulmates. And it was in the same exact spot that I think it was this card or these two cards flew out. We are soulmates. Okay. Well, this message pertains to the tarot cards that fell down. Okay. Let me just pull these decks to the side. Or you know what? Let me just leave this here and pick up. The tarot cards that fell. I have no idea where they went. That is a little spooky. Let me move my chair. Oh, there they are. I don't know why the cards are like falling by the tripod. Okay, there we go. We have Life Experience with Archangel Chamuel, which is also known as the Tower. I'm not surprised to see that card here. We also have Ten of Wands and the Chariot. And then we are soulmates. I'm just going to pull everything to the side. I want to make sure you guys can see everything that's in the frame. So I'm just going to try to move the cards around real quick. So we have the Page of Air, Life Experience. I don't want to cover up those cards. Ten of Wands and the Chariot. Now, this card says a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. The Ten of Wands. Too much work, accept help from others. Life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns. I'm also picking up on the word burdens here. Like this is too much, like it says down here. A lot on your plate right now is the message coming through. And the chariot with Archangel Metatron, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. And then we are soulmates. 
So Spirit's giving me a message that there will be somebody in particular coming into your life. This could be a new friend. This could be a new romantic partner. But once you sort out your issues, which you're in the process of doing, there will be someone new coming into your life. And their energy is very healing and very helpful to you. And I know with the Tower card... Coming under, my mind is free, tears cleanse the soul, and then this card right here. There's definitely a lot that has been going on, a lot of major changes, a lot of shocking events in your life, and a lot of stress, especially with the Tower and the Ten of Wands here. But this is leading you to the Chariot and to this new person. And you and this person, I'm getting the message to have a lot in common. And you two need to resonate on the same frequency in order to come together. That's why you're in a process of healing so that your vibration can meet theirs. Because right now, Spirit's giving me the message that you're a little down here and they're up here. So they're getting you up here so you and this person can meet in divine timing. But I do see that things will be looking better Right now, there's just a lot going on, a lot of healing taking place. But this is not all in vain. Spirit wants you to know that this isn't in vain because it's leading you to blessings. It's leading you to new beginnings as well. And it's leading you to a new person, which I feel like you've been wanting someone slash something new in your life because especially... You've been feeling lonely. You've been feeling like, wow, no one has my back. I can't trust anyone. I can't tell anyone anything. But then this new person coming into your life. And this person specifically, I'm picking up on dark hair and dark eyes. And they're a bit short is the message I'm getting. Like they're like five foot under is a message that I'm getting about this person. And I'm also getting freckles and long like naturally long eyelashes that's the person i'm getting here with this message that is all that i will share with you all today that's all i'm picking up for you guys today thank you all very much for watching I'm sending you all a lot of good luck, a lot of blessings, and keep in mind that you're making through the storm. Right now it's storming outside and my schedule freed up and I was able to sit down and film for you all today. So you are making it through the storm. I feel like at the beginning of the reading, the storm was a bit more crazy, but now that it's ending, the storm has been slowing down. And I am taking that as a sign from spirit because that's letting me know that, hey, things are crazy right now. Things have been going, you know, not so well, but now like the storm is over and there's the rainbow at the end of the tunnel. Because that's sort of the process that spirit is showing it to me is that right now you're walking through a tunnel. It's still dark. And you see the light, you see very little glimpse of light at the end, but it's still there. And that's where you're heading. And Spirit really wants me to emphasize that for you all. Again, thank you all very much for watching. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye, everyone.